Hi, what I'd like to do today is unbox my birthday pen. This is a uh, Pelican pen which I chose uh, from a short list of pens I'd like to buy one day. Not only because Pelican has such an impeccable reputation for making quality writing instruments, but also because when I first started out in fountain pens and I came across a picture of this model, I fell in love with it right away. Now, this is a pretty well-known model. It's pretty popular. Okay. And I'm going to unbox really quickly. You have your standard box, I think. Um, I've got another Pelican, which was a gift to me. It also has this blue outer box. And it also has this guarantee booklet, which says that the pen is covered for materials and defects for three years from date of purchase. It also says here that within four weeks upon date of purchase, I can change the nib if I want something wider or if I want something finer. Now what I got was a Pelican with a fine nib. All right, let me turn this around so you can see what I'm looking at. As I said, this is pretty popular. This is the Pelican Sovereign M400 in white tortoise. And here's the pen. It has the sort of standard profile of a Pelican pen now uh, with slight tapering towards the piston end and slight tapering of the cap. And um, you've got your white, which is in reality closer to ivory. All right, so that there's an interesting color contrast between the gold trim and the tortoise striated pattern here. Uh, the logo is sort of frosted onto the cap jewel, and you have a clip that swings slightly upward towards the end. Now, there's some engraving at the uh, base of the cap here. It says, Pelican Sovereign, Germany. Let me unscrew the pen. Okay, my understanding of these nibs is that they can screw out and you can swap them with other uh, Pelican nibs of the uh, M200. If you have an M200, you can swap nibs between them. Okay, um, let's just try that a bit. And there it goes. Now I have a fine nib in here. It's a two-tone, 14-karat gold fine nib. Okay, my friend very kindly lent me his medium nib so that I can test which, width line, which line width I prefer. Right? Here's a close-up. Okay, so I'm going to ink this pen with one of my favorite inks, uh, J. Herban Lidete. Now, I got both of these things from... Uh, Got the, I got the pen and the ink from Scribe Essentials over at Eastwood Mall along Libis. I got this bottle of ink some months ago. It's one of my favorite colors. It is sort of um, on the golden end of brown. It's about halfway finished, so I might have to tilt the bottle a bit. Now, to fill up the piston, I turn this... Uh, counterclockwise and you'll see the piston lowering I don't know if you can see that but the piston is now all the way down it expels the air I dip the pen in and I turn the piston clockwise I don't know if you can see the ink going up, but there it is. Okay, what I'm doing is wiping off the excess, excess ink and testing my pen for the very first time. That is a smooth writing experience for a fine nib. The feel of the, the piston is just right. It's just smooth going up and smooth going down, no friction whatsoever. So this is it, my birthday pen.